Hi, welcome back to the Operation Management courses. Today we will discuss about the backbone of the Operation Management Body of Knowledge, which is Process Design and Analysis. Before we begin, let's take a look a little bit at the learning outcome for this section. Once you finish this section, you will be able to describe the process strategy with recognizing the basic type of process. Furthermore, you can also able to explain how to analyze a business process and understand how to calculate the process performance. Lastly, you will have an ability to describe service process design. Let's begin with the basic definition of the process. Process is any part of an organization that takes input and transform it into output. With the objective of building the value-added process that meet customer expectation and product or service specification within certain cost and managerial constraint, based on this objective, the key to highlight in designing process is meeting customer expectation and cost efficient. The process design for sure have long-term impact on quality, cost, and flexibility of the production process. We can classify process based on the volume and variety continuum. Based on volume and variety, process can be illustrated in this matrix. Process may have low and high variety, as well as have low and high volume. The process with high variety and low volume is called focus, process focus, or project, or job shop work. The example for this category is hospital and restaurant. Every day, each restaurant makes different types of menu based on customer order. The number of orders, of course, not huge or low volume. In the kitchen, the equipment and tools for cooking is multi-purpose equipment to accommodate variation of the menu. Similar setting is also applicable to the job shop type of factory. The main characteristic of process focus is having many input and many output. The next category is repetitive, where the process has moderate variety and moderate volume. In this case, production is characterized as having modularity where different product is due to different module inside it. However, each module is made to standard to guarantee interchangeability between the same module. The repetitive process run in modest speed compared to the process focus. The industry use repetitive process is automobile industry, electronic industry, that they are producing car, motorcycle, home appliance. In the repetitive process, system takes an input and create module as an output. Another category of process is the process that has low variety and high volume that is known as product focus. The main characteristic of product focus is taking few input and produce high variety of products. Example of this type of process is commercial bakery products, chips and cracker, and also beverage. This process is also called continuous process because they have very long continuous production runs. The process naturally requires high fixed cost but low variable cost since the equipment is designed for specific debt process only. With the increasing wealthy and sophisticated world demands individualized goods and services, the term mass customization comes to represent that demand. Mass customization is the rapid low-cost production of goods and services that fulfill increasingly unique, unique customer desires. Mass customization brings the variety of products traditionally provided by low-volume manufacturer or process focus 
at the cost of standardized high volume or product focus. Achieving production process that has high variety volume and or mass customization in this case is a challenging that requires sophisticated operational capabilities. With the recent trend of technology in industry 4.0, it is all possible to make the mass customization. When we compare all of those four types of process based on the fixed and variable cost, process focus has low fixed cost but high variable cost, while product focus has the opposite, high fixed cost and low variable cost. Repetitive products lies in between of those process types. I hope it's now clear for you about the process strategy and the classification of the process. See you in the next video and happy learning.